New technologies emerge regularly, particularly with respect to consumer consumption of entertainment. As a result, the interpretation of licensing agreements and permitted uses thereunder becomes slightly more complicated, depending on the uses contemplated by the relevant contracts. In the 1998 case of Boozy and Hawks Music Publisher Limited versus The Walt Disney Company, we examine some of the relevant considerations that come into play when such new uses arise. In 1939, composer Igor Stravinsky licensed the composition for his song The Rite of Spring to Disney. The copyright licensing agreement authorized Disney's recording of the song in any manner, form, or medium for use in one motion picture. Disney commissioned a recording of the song by the Philadelphia Orchestra and used the recording in its 1940 film entitled Fantasia. Stravinsky's copyright interests in the song were ultimately acquired by Boozy and Hawks. After its initial release, Fantasia had been re-released for the theater at least seven times, all without objection from Boozy or Stravinsky. Disney later released the film in newly developed home video and Laserdisc formats for consumers at home consumption. The license agreement included no language pertaining to future technologies. Boozy sued Disney in district court, alleging copyright infringement for the unauthorized use of the song in Fantasia's in-home film formats. The court granted partial summary judgment to Boozy, finding that the in-home format release wasn't authorized by the licensing agreement and Disney appealed to the Second Circuit.